In this video, the Bitcoin price is absolutely doing... What is it doing actually? It's getting a little bit of a bounce. I mean, yesterday we did have the CPI data, so um, the inflation was at 7.7%, which is much lower than expected. So the stock market got an insane bounce. Bitcoin and crypto in general got a massive bounce. So, yeah, um, I think we should go into the chart to take a look at that. So we have Andy from Bitcoin Census here, and we have Efe. Hey guys, nice to see you again. The crypto kid. Yeah. The youngest crypto trader in the world. Always nice to be in your videos. So, Everyone says you look like 30 because you have so much beard. You have more beard than me, actually. Yeah, I know. But how old are you? I'm 15. So I have a lot of Arabian roots. So Arabian it roots. Is the, it is a nice juice, but I'm yeah, 15. I started trading when I was 12, and uh, you know, uh, now uh, now we're here. You also have a deeper voice than me. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it is. You're growing up fast. But he is 15. I know, it's crazy. Absolutely. He's going to go into many bull runs. Yeah. yeah, 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 it's crazy. Okay, so I want to know what both of you guys, because both of you are traders, and uh, let's maybe start with you, Andy. Yeah. When you look at the chart, what exactly are you looking at? Well, right now, I mean, we got it. Obviously, we do know about the FTX situation. We got a huge, massive drop. This is the 15 minute chart, okay? I've got some daily levels here that have been respected uh, pretty nicely. Uh, we got a huge bounce, okay, after the FTX massive, you know, kind of capitulation, going mm -hmm. all the way down to 15.5K level, um, holding this range. It did a s kind of small double bottom right over there. And because of the CPI data, you know, uh, inflation came down to 7.7. .7. Nobody was expecting that. And mm -hmm. of course, when inflation goes down that low, uh, people are happy to start putting some money into risk assets, you know, such as Bitcoin and, you know, the stock So market. what I'm seeing here is actually massive inverse head and shoulders yeah. here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is something that we're just looking at right now where we have this kind of price action, this low over here. And now, you know, we have in this kind of consolidation. So there is, yeah. a, you know, there is a possibility in getting a, a big massive bounce now at this, at this range. So um, can you make the measured move? If yeah. we do see a breakout, how big can the reversal be? Okay. Or actually, before we do that, yeah. which will be towards the end of the video, Efe, hey guys. the youngest crypto trader in the world, what do you think about Bitcoin right now? Um, well, um, the CPI did definitely helped. So the expected number was 8%. We got 7.7%. Um, um, and that you know, caused the entire capitulation to have like a Bitcoin relief rally. Uh, but uh, we have made a lower low on Bitcoin, meaning we're continuing uh, the huge downtrend. So we're still in a bear market, of course, um, and it's not looking nice. We're continuing downwards. Um, uh, there is no bullish sentiment right now, you know, so it's uh, other than the CPI, which kind of saved us there. Um, so the next level of support, really the strongest support is around 10.5. Um, K area, we have some smaller ones like 13 and a half K, 12.2 K, but um, yeah, uh, that's that's what I think. By the way, is the, did the S and P make a lower low, a lower high, or? Um, well, we can actually check the S and P right now. Wait, Andy, do you understand that he's 15 years old? Yeah, it's crazy. You know, the, the knowledge that he's got uh, with the technical analysis and, and it's uh, really crazy. It's, it's absolutely crazy. So I don't get it. It's I like... think I was playing video games when I was 15. Yeah, video games, <laughs> playing football. Yeah, so like yeah. I'm a huge Call of Duty fan. I play FIFA. Oh, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least something that my, makes my sense. My side hustle. <laughs> yeah, at least that makes sense. That's yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, guys, actually, uh, you do have incredible um, technical analysis. You have a link down below to your channel. Yes, crypto. Yeah. yeah, but actually, um, I told him, like, I think uh, the, the crypto, crypto kid, kid, that sounds amazing. Because that's what yeah. people tell you, like, oh, he's the crypto kid. Yeah, it's good branding, so we could change it to that soon, maybe. Yeah, it's that's up to you, man. I mean, that's... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it sounds cool. Yeah, it sounds cool. So the, crypto the crypto kid. kid. Yeah. yeah, it sounds cool. So, yeah, I'll, I'll leave your link down below. Wee. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at yeah, uh, well, uh, the S&P, okay? Yeah, S&P 500, yeah, of Ooh, course, we still, high. yeah, this is still on the daily and it's still creating a lower high. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I take a look at Fibonacci a lot, of course, the 618 famous Fibonacci. And if you take a look, you know, at all of these different drops that, are, that, that we've had since the all-time high uh, that we created on the S&P, we've hit that 618 you know, multiple times, mm. you know, from this high, for example, to the low, we're hitting that 618 range again. And this is what I'm looking right now, the current drop that we've had, okay, for the last couple of months, all the way down to the to this local low over here. We're just about 
getting near at the 4,050 points on the S&P 500, and it's just going to be kind of a another. Yeah, no, this candle doesn't. This candle doesn't look nice. If we zoom in, that is a uh, shooting star candle, and when markets yeah. open on Monday, we're most likely going to come back down to this support here. So that will form a lower low if it happens. Yeah, but potentially. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So this is a, a an area that's going to just be facing a lot of resistance. So if you know, if we suddenly this area over here, we we start correcting on on the stock. So market, if if the S and P goes down, what does yeah. that mean for Bitcoin? Well, it's bad because it's highly correlated, you know, it's been correlated for years and, you know, uh, if the S&P has a massive bounce like it did with the CPI data, we would yeah. see Bitcoin having, you know, pretty nice bounce also. So there's still a lot of correlation. So if it drops, it's not going to be good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Okay, so I think we should go and take a look at that inverse head and shoulders because yeah, that could be a massive trade. And guys, do not forget that if you want to make a trade, do it on Bybit. Use my link down below. You get 30 thousand dollars crazy three zero that is crazy that is that is like i mean of course you require the deposit amount but thirty thousand dollars is thirty thousand dollars i mean i think you got eight days yeah it's only eight, eight days yeah, it's only a really tight promotion so okay limited offer thirty thousand dollars for you guys if you use my link down below to buy bit and then you can deposit some bitcoin and take uh, part in this trade coming up okay show us right now right what well, is the trade what do we got here we can see this kind of price action, right? There's a potential inverse head and shoulder. But as we are, you know, pretty in an aggressive downtrend, okay, we don't want to, you know, shoot fireworks just yet. We would have to need a massive big breakout, mm -hmm. especially from this last level high range here, looking at the one hourly, in my personal opinion. It's a strong daily level. We had a lot of volume here. Also, I like, I like to take a look at volume because volume is indicating you where's the pressure going, right? So we've got this massive selling pressure over here. So we'd have to break this kind of volume area, not only like this, these lower high levels, this would be the last lower high kind of fake out candle. If we have a massive breakout like this, with a huge amount of volume, then I would consider it's relatively safe to get into the kind of the retracement here from this breakout, only if we do break out with a lot of volume. And I wouldn't rush into a trade while we break out, just in case it's a fake out. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of fake outs with these. Um, but where's the target? Everyone wants to know yeah, well, where to get in and where to get yeah, out. That, that how, be here, right? how to make maximum amounts of money on Bybit on this trade. That potential target, of course, you know, the, the projected move, depending on where we break yeah. out. Um, you know, it can take us back up to that twenty thousand dollar range. And we have okay. a lot of resistance. There yeah, we have a, a lot of I, all of these are daily levels that I got. Okay, I mm -hmm. could have got them out of the chart, but you know, if we have a, such an explosive breakout mm -hmm. with volume, you know, we know we'll just go through all. Of okay, the so twenty k is the target, but yeah. you can see a lot of green areas here yeah. around uh, nineteen to yeah. nineteen point five. So. May, the, the target is 20k, but I think we could do some profits taking around 19 exactly. point. Uh, if we look at the volume exactly. as well, there's a lot of um, volume profile. buying here, you know, so people tend yeah. to buy at this range a lot as well. So I do believe that this would be a good support in terms of volume as well. So yeah, this 19 that's, yeah. that's good. Basically, the volume well, yeah, that's a massive, massive amount yeah. of uh, resistance there. Exactly. Yeah, it's all of this consolidation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because basically, it was support from September and, and October when we're just holding that 18, 19k. Yeah. So it's just going to be a wall of, of resistance yeah so. okay guys i have an advice as well one one advice go to coin market cap right now and scroll down through all of the tokens there are because there's some very very good projects and make sure you do your own due diligence but they're on a fire sale right now i mean it's just crazy cheap right now so I definitely personally what I'm doing right now is taking a percentage of my income that I'm not afraid to lose and just DCAing because even if we do break down I mean the max level that I'm seeing that we could go to is like around 10k you know and that's only around seven thousand dollars below where we are so if we DCA for the next couple of weeks I think it's a very good buy the bottom place so that's what I think thank you guys that was very knowledgeable i like to uh, to bring uh, both of you on the channel yeah, like this it's cool it's it's nice. it's yeah because w when i talk about ta myself it, yeah. it's only my perspective but yeah. it's nice when we have three different perspectives at the same time challenging each other like this different opinions is yeah, always great. better than one right yeah, yeah yeah so go check out andy bitcoin census fm the crypto kid cool stuff and guys all the links are down below and um, what else subscribe right now press the notification bell i love you guys you're amazing and i will see you guys in the next one bye, -bye.